Hey Space Lab, I'm Jake and I'm here in Washington DC. Well, I'm in a hotel room in Washington DC and I'm here for the Space Lab award ceremony. But let's talk about space. Number three. Photographer Alex Ribest used these incredible time lapses from the International Space Station and turned them into this stunning look at our stars from space. We've seen video of solar flares, but have we ever heard one? Robert Alexander, a student at the University of Michigan, used a type of sonification known as autification to turn data samples from two NASA spacecraft into individual audio samples, creating this. When a solar flare happens, generally a large amount of energy is released, creating an even stronger solar wind or a solar storm. These travel all the way to Earth, but luckily we are protected due to the magnetosphere, and when the solar wind hits our magnetism, it creates the magnetosphere, this force field that deflects these particles and pushes them around the Earth. A few get through though, and that creates the auroras that we see today. But if we didn't have a strong magnetic field, then it might look something like this. Venus has a very weak magnetic field, so it gets a head-on assault from solar winds. That looks pretty awful. Oh, Jesus. Mystery Guitar Man, what's up Ricky06? Yeah. Dude, perfect, how'd what you guys get into my room? The mad, magical ponies. We oh, mostly we bribed housekeeping. Yeah. How did we get, oh, that's right, you told us to come. Oh, five, five. maybe that. Maybe yeah, that, that, that might have been it. That's actually weird. probably, that's why. probably Here accurate. we are. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. In your Do room. you have any other disastrous planetary stuff? Mm. Oh, of course. How about a tornado on Mars? Or here's an image showing some 425 volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io. But if you're sick of space, you can always come back down to Earth by jumping out of a capsule 71,580 feet high. That's pretty crazy, right guys? There's nobody there. Anyway, everything we talked about is linked below in the description, so check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna leave you with a question. Have we stopped dreaming? Now, it might not make sense, but think about it, and then leave a comment, and watch this awesome video with Neil deGrasse Tyson. See you next time. The, the, the home of tomorrow, the city of tomorrow, transportation of tomorrow, all that ended in the, in, in the 1970s. After we stopped going to the moon, it all ended. We stopped dreaming.